village <coughs> in the 1930s and 40s and war. Until Eldridge's grocery store burned down in 1953, wasn't it? Uh, that was later that, than that, wasn't it, George? Well, maybe it the, was. The, I thought the it the was. Block the whole block the went block down. Burned down. Burned yeah, down. yeah, because I was at. The, I have pictures of that too. Unless it well, with them lowering. I can see them lowering I, Bob I Hall's desk down, down right. from his office, and it was burned to a crisp. And all you know, his papers were that high on his desk, and they put a strap around the whole thing and lowered it to the ground. And the papers were still there. They were just ash. And mm -hmm. that whole block going. Well, I think it was when the post office moved that everything started to come unstuck down there. My grandmother had a, a little bed and breakfast down right in the yeah. center of Howard's Wood there across from what's now George's Pizza. And uh, one thing she was famous for was her Nettie Dodge's homemade donuts. Mm -hmm. People used to come from miles around to see the, uh, to eat the, Homemade donuts and Eddie Dodge at the house on the side of the road. Um, that was they, the name of it? That was the name of it, yeah. Wonderful. But what yeah. they didn't know was that in the morning she went over and got the day olds from the uh, <laughs> First National, brought them back, put sugar on them, put them in the oven, and sold them as well. Homemade donuts, everybody loved them. That's wonderful. If they ever found the original recipe for Meltaways, this town would be on the map again. Yeah. yeah. They were good, weren't they? Yeah. 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 Nothing like that. Yeah, had yeah. a 40 minute wait. To and get part of it was those yes. um, uh, brick ovens. Don't you think that made a big difference? The was old ovens the they reason? had, that Jimmy had down at the other place. Yeah, the, they had brick ovens. Yeah. Well, it was, yeah, it was. I don't remember the ovens, I remember the ones. Yeah, yes. and they, yeah. <laughs> they were different. They were different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they, they were baked pizza. inside. Yeah. It's not yeah. a pizza yeah. next door where you take a water. You get your pizza and you take about 10 napkins and sponge off the grease. <laughs> Boy, that's another story. You could do a whole thing on Main Street in the old days. And, and St. West Tarwich, Perkins, and... Yeah. Wow. Hmm? You didn't talk about the river. That was a little pretty busy once. Yeah, yeah. I know, but she wanted this to be yeah. our report. Because I said, because yeah. it is just so much. Yeah. Because you know, I said, Carl Francis could talk river and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. But that's Ted Lucas, or not Ted Lucas, but his father, too. Yeah. Be a great guy for Herring River. Yeah. Craig Whitcomb. Yeah. Craig Whitcomb, shellfish, Herring River. He, he's, he knows that river better than anybody. Yeah. I've got between him and Bert, Bert Barker, you know. And when you think about when you think about a hundred years ago or more than that now, the the industry that went on in these little towns. And you had an overall factory and a button factory and the 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 herring barreling oh, up at the herring uh, packing. Yep. Yeah. Got pictures of. I mean these little. Businesses that went on, and now it's primary kind of business tourism. Yeah. These were busy little towns. Did anybody bring up Joe Zalzak when he used to shuck at the clam bar? Yeah, that was oh, the yeah. best honey hole for shellfish going. Yeah. He'd sit there and just throw them. All the yeah. close ones would I'm go sure. right off, right off the edge. There. <laughs> 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 Paul Donovan would be down there with a rake. <laughs> Consolidated that used to go in and out of there twice a day with great regularity at the Foster's on it. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. And, uh, that, that had gotten until a recent couple of years when they dredged it, it had gotten so shallow you could hardly get a, any kind of a boat up in there unless it was dead high water. For a long time, that 40 foot consolidated all varnish hull wow. would go in and out of there uh, oh, twice yeah. a day for a morning ride and an afternoon ride. Probably helped keep it open some. Yeah. Bill, Bill Foster sitting on the sitting on the aft end there, having a great time. Now, what's, what are they gonna, are they going to uh, dredge that? Finally, they decided what they're going to do. The, they've been talking about dredging it. And the, the they dredged it uh, last spring. Last year, yeah. yeah, they didn't they have a maintenance permit? Yeah. They mm -hmm. keep it open. Yeah, they keep keep uh, keep dredging. 
I used to go in that place with Mary Russell and her yeah. white lineman, yeah. white lineman, because that's where smoke turned that on. <laughs> I think I was 13. <laughs> I can, I can tell you a story. Anything illegal, Marcia, really? No, but my, when you think about what goes on in the world <laughs> and what we got in trouble for, right? <laughs> I can tell you a story about that, Marcia. What? About uh, a good number of years ago, I was put on a search team for a development officer for my school. And we looked around all of the resumes and picked the finalists. And uh, finally, I got a call that one of my finalists Mary Russell had uh, won the job. 